This is by Pratik. He is asking, is it incorrect to say that knowledge of Maya, including concepts of vibration and memory, is positive knowledge? No, it is not incorrect to say that. It is positive knowledge. The knowledge of Maya is positive knowledge and therefore it is not knowledge. As you know that anything that can be known is false. So anything that is positively known is false. Anything that is negatively known is true. So for those who are new to this kind of terminology or these concepts about of the knowledge and they will find it very puzzling. So because this is satsang, I cannot give you the whole thing, but I'll give you a little bit of short version of what do I mean by positive negative knowledge. So the, there is there are there is a, two kind of there are two kinds of knowledge. First is the positive, the second is negative. Positive is anything which is gained through direct experience and logic. That is the only way to gain knowledge. There is no other way to gain knowledge, to get any knowledge. If it is positive, if it is saying that this is so and so, it is always false. If it is negative and says that, I am pretty sure that this is not so and so. That is, there is some chance that, that, that it will be true and then you can explore more. If you can find something, it will be false. If you do not find that which you hold as a concept, then it is true. So it is puzzling. Yeah, I know it is puzzling that uh, how can, <laughs> how is it possible? Don't I get the truth by observation? No, we don't get the truth by observation. We get the knowledge of the illusion. How do we get the truth? When we discard our assumptions and beliefs. That is truth. And finally you will come to know that nothing is true and nothing is false. Some things appear and something witnesses the appearances. That's all. The rest of the story is made in the mind. It is a story. Okay, I'm going to use a criteria that everything that changes, everything that is positive is false. Yes, that is a story. It can have its use. It can be useful. It is still not there. Okay, there is some something which is uh, infinite, which is blissful, which is uh, perfect, which is timeless, that is witnessing something. It is a story, although it is not an appearance, but still concepts. When you discard all these concepts, you are left with that which is, that which is cannot be known. All knowledge is concepts. All knowledge is interrelations between experiences that are stored in the memory. What is stored in the memory? All illusion. To know the unknowable, we need to transcend the knowable. That does not mean we know it. It simply means we accept the unknowability. So the path of knowledge simply destroys ignorance and takes you through negative knowledge to agnosticism. No positive knowledge is gained on the path of knowledge. So we can redefine the path of knowledge as lifestyle where the knowledge is shed. Nobody will agree with this but this is how it is. Ignorance is a very big impurity and knowledge is also an impurity. Since you cannot start shedding the knowledge, you, know, you don't have any knowledge obviously. So we start by shedding or cutting off the ignorance. That is the first step and once you start knowing things then the Guru will point out like, look, this is all positive knowledge. You need to throw it away also. And we come from a state of ignorance, total darkness to a state of knowing. And then the final step you need to take is the step of unknowing. Drop the knowledge. Drop anything that is positive. And this unknowing, the agnostic position is of being, not of knowing. Be that which you are. So you will find that about 90% of the people are trapped in ignorance. They know something but it is wrong. It's totally wrong. And uh, let us say 9.9% .9 people are trapped in knowledge. They know something. Yes, it is true. It is kind of not true. I mean it is right. It is useful. 
and it is positive they are very confident that i know and they are trapped in that knowledge and the rest of the 0.1% they know that i don't know and they are free they are what they are they are established in their own being now i just cooked up the numbers here percentages just to show you what is the extent of ignorance in humanity most of them are either trapped in ignorance or knowledge which they consider as a good state no the good state to be in is of not knowing of simply being it is very difficult for an intelligent person to accept this so the intellect becomes their obstacle you need to surrender the intellect in the final step of the path of knowledge do not surrender it in, in the beginning that will be a very bad decision you want to cross the river so what do you do you take a boat a small boat let us say when you cross the river you are on the other side you don't carry the boat drop it the purpose is done this is a purpose is served leave the boat however if you drop the boat when you are just starting we are in the middle of the river you say i don't need the boat then you know what will happen you will never be able to cross the river that is foolish and when you carry the boat with you when you are on the other side it's useless that is foolish so our inquiry our knowledge our means of knowledge our criteria for truth and all the logic and rationality that we employ in spirituality is of no use in the end so this journey is like this it is of dropping it is of shedding cutting off letting go subtracting path of knowledge is a negative path where you lose you do not gain anything so that was a short introduction to positive knowledge and negative knowledge the progress is made by negative knowledge initially it has to be positive knowledge it, there needs to be both initially so that you cross the ignorance the phase of ignorance when you're full of knowledge you drop it also we don't know anything it is not a bad thing it is a good thing because there is nothing to know whatever will be known will be simply a circus of the intellect the intellect is the clown here you are the ringmaster you are the showman and you are the audience also you are everything you are the whole and complete you don't need to know anything there is nothing to know there there is nothing to know in me and there is nothing to know outside me here comes the peace here comes the bliss here comes the silence there is nothing more satisfactory than this you can try it okay so next question also from pratip tomato when eaten becomes memory can it be deduced stand alone from the above statement that the tomato was already a memory i can deduce one thing only from this statement that there was no tomato can you see it if you don't eat it it is still going to rot and disappear if you eat it it will just go through the one more step of becoming something in the body it becomes part of the body and then again it simply given in out in the environment the body also drops rots so there is no tomato and it simply appears for a while then it rots away this illusion there is no tomato if it is eaten it appears as a body it rots away it was an illusion that is all can be deduced you can say okay the tomato was in the memory that is why it appeared that is a theory that is an assumption you can call it a scientific theory you can analyze it at all these levels you can say there was a potential of uh, there being a tomato it appears in various forms you know whatever happens in between to the tomato is not of any consequence and when it disappears you know it is it is again a potential there the potential is for the experience to appear it seems as as if it is appearing like this and because you are used to this thing you are used to this experience you call it perfectly logical and true any ordinary person will ask what is wrong the tomato is rot what is wrong tomato is eaten and what is wrong the tomato appears on a plant tomato plant why are you asking these questions they are so habitual of this appearance and disappearance that the ignorant person thinks that is how it should be that is how the truth is they are not surprised by this that the tomato has disappeared it has gone through many stages probably who cares it was a tiny bud flower then it became a green 
ball then it became a ripe fruit red tomato then it is sitting on your dining table and you're cutting it and eating it you know who cares what happens to it who cares how it is changing if it is changing it is not there that is all can be deduced how you will say how it is there it is there just speed up the time just speed up the time and you will see that if it starts disappearing in one second you are going to doubt yourself no 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 there is no tomato you will see if the one who eats the tomato also disappears in one second is there anything simply because it is eaten and then you know it has changed in a different way it has taken its journey from a different route to disappearance does not mean it, it became true that is not logical to think like this let us take an example that uh, you are dreaming and uh, you have uh, a very good meal in front of you very good food your favorite food now you wake up from the dream and you say okay there was a dream very nice dream but the food was not real it just up is just appeared next day you dream and the same dream but this time you eat it it's very tasty mouth watering you wake up and you say that oh the food was real i could eat it so it was real but is this the right statement is it the right deduction no the food was unreal the one who ate it unreal all the taste and all the satisfaction or dissatisfaction or whatever you got from it totally unreal simply because a different event happened with the food does not make it real actually ordinary people have a lot of difficulty understanding this simple thing they will argue like this okay food is not real don't eat it then don't eat it you will know it is real what kind of logic is that let's look at this dream example the argument is not that it is unreal because because nobody can eat it your hand passes through the food now it is totally unreal it's a hallucination and the argument is that it changes it is a changing experience that is why it is unreal it does not matter what what path it takes to change it is unreal this is the argument and obviously the people who are not trained on the path of knowledge will never understand this thing and i'm sometimes surprised that they do understand when i tell them this look the tomato is not real and they are dumbfounded i mean they're surprised really is it <laughs> then I, then you know you draw their attention to the body look it is also changing even though it is eating things it is changing and it is changing precisely because it is eating if it stops eating no problem you know it will change anyway it will change quickly to dirt because it eats it stays for a while because the illusion stays for a while you assume it is real it is not you can go to the plato's example you know when there were no movies and all he came up with this shadow theater kind of concept plato he said you tie people in a cave and they show them only the shadows on the wall of the cave a dungeon let us say and if they are born in the cave and they die in the cave they will always think that the shadows are the reality their only reality will be shadows on the wall the shadow puppet show they will they are not going to doubt it even for a second you can think about it you can do this experiment in your mind mental experiment find out are you not witnessing the shadows right now are your senses not creating everything from nothing at all some people will say that means the senses are true that means my brain is true just take a step back step back when you know one or two steps look at the senses in the brain and the body and nervous system and the software and whatever you call it you know non physical that is also changing that is also an illusion you will reach that which is not changing it is guaranteed you will reach the screen which is not changing the space in which the changes are happening seem to happen and that is you you are not changing and you, that is why you are the only truth parthip is saying i concluded from this the waking state is a dream very good even without bringing in the concept of memory or the vibration or anything any other science of any kind you can demonstrate that it is a dream you can do that okay sandhya is saying which means when we are sure it is all false but when there is a doubt then there is a potential to know and when we know 
what we know becomes false very good yes if you ever think that probably something is true out there which can be known you see these two things they should occur together the known and true if you think there is something like this you investigate who knows you will find it but usually we never find it it is an experience of some kind which is changing always and then it is false what do we conclude it is not that which appears maya it is not that whenever there is this word no it is not this is now how it is this is not what it seems to be that means it is negative knowledge that means the belief was dropped so that is the way we proceed and drop everything that we have assumed then it takes you to the being level which is just being there is no need to know there is no compulsion no anxiety to know anything because you have investigated everything and you found that everything comes out to be negative the conclusions are negative now you may play with it for a while that you know i have a doubt that this is the thing which is sounds interesting as positive investigate then again it comes out to be negative so it it can be play to find out and this should not be done prematurely like you get on the path of knowledge and say okay drop everything there is nothing to know and that means your boat is sinking <laughs> you need to go through the forest of knowledge then emerge out in the clear area clear ground of not knowing before that you have gone through the forest of ignorance it is very easy to drop the ignorance because it is causing suffering it is difficult to drop the knowledge because it gives us confidence it gives us material benefits it gives us satisfaction and happiness and the intellectual people love it it is difficult but there is no hurry you will drop it <laughs> if you have a guru the guru ensures that you don't delude yourself with knowing if you don't have a guru it can take time because this knowledge eventually turns into ignorance it eventually turns into suffering ignorance is suffering knowledge is suffering 